What up, guys? It's Chris. Today I wanted to talk about my latest project, which is um, using an MA2 to kind of drive QLab uh, as a media server. So, as you guys know, I'm back out on the road, and the show that I'm doing right now uh, calls for me to trigger the lighting and the audio cues. Um, so kind of like comic walk on, walk off type of type of bits. So I wanted to, you know, I've been down here for a week. I've set up uh, the Q Lab and the MA2 side of things. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I went about doing such. So the first thing was first when I found out we were going to be using Q Lab, I had to figure out what kind of inputs that Q Lab could take. Um, I'm used to using DMX, uh, like a DMX profile to patch in MA2, and then go ahead and control, say, Resolum or my Hippos or D3 or, you know, anything like that. <clears throat> but QLab is a little bit different. So I've pulled up some of the control documentation, and we can see that it takes um, MIDI, it takes timecode, it takes a couple other things, and OSC. So hopefully in MA3, we can uh, output OSC via the network, which will make things very easy going down the road. So for this example, uh, I've chose MIDI notes. Let's take a look at some of the hardware that I'm using. Uh, so the Grindamay has one MIDI out port and one MIDI import on the back of the desk. So we are using the MIDI out and uh, just through one cable goes into a MIDI solutions box that splits it up into four ways and then from there it goes into a MIO, uh, an iConnectivity MIO which I believe just stands for MIDI in and out and what happens there is that'll go directly into the back of the Macintosh and that allows uh, QAB to have a MIDI interface so I'm, uh, so the MA is sending one MIDI signal to both Macs. So this is the front of the um, QLab playback rack. You can see the two Mac Minis that are rack mounted um, just on the second space down there. We have a couple of DIs, uh, I believe. Yeah, a couple of radial DIs that are, again, just USB into the back of the Macs. And that'll give us a balanced uh, XLR output. Um, the network switch isn't really doing a whole lot right now. And again, the Mios are just connected in the back there. Um, but that's pretty much it in terms of the hardware side of things. Uh, going into the software side of things, uh, if we come over here and look at my queue list on MA2, we can see that uh, in the command section, I just have the command MIDI note X. And certain MIDI notes will fire a track, certain MIDI notes will fire uh, a fade out of that track on the QLab side of things. So in MA, it's really just as simple as MIDI note 1, MIDI note 2, and that'll happen instantaneously. So if any fades or anything like that needs to happen, um, that needs to happen on the QLab side of things. If we take a look at my Q list or an example of my Q list on the QLab side of things, you can see here kind of how it's all laid out. And at the bottom, uh, triggers, I believe we have some piece of uh, music selected. And from triggers, you will select uh, MIDI trigger, note on. The velocity for uh, MA2 will be 127, and I would imagine for most things. And then you just assign your desired note um, right in this column. And as long as MIDI trigger is uh, checked, then it will it will always rip which is pretty awesome so again that's how we've kind of done it and one of the safety things that I kind of always program is like a kill all uh, mute audio you know just kind of an oh shit button really for for um, you know videos and, and misfires and things like that so what we have done is we have created a kind of a QLab panic button you can see right here. I've just made a simple macro that is the QLab panic button. Uh, we can take a quick look here. You can either, if you're on, on PC, you can right click in the macro. If you were on a desk, you could hit edit and then touch the macro. Um, this is the command line. This is what 
the actual this is what it actually says in the command line and uh, this is what it looks like on the QWeb side of things this would just be in the general settings um, you could take a quick look in there and what we've done is we've just programmed kind of the panic all uh, to MIDI note 30 and then again you saw in the clip earlier our macro for a QAB panic is MIDI note 30 and that's all it does it just kind of fades it out in a couple seconds so yeah that's kind of it that's kind of the basic overview about how I'm using QLab with MA2 um, you know this isn't the most complicated setup in the world but it doesn't always have to be sometimes uh, simple is better in my opinion um, moving forward I think we're going to upgrade to hippos as the video element of this show is going to come back once we leave Texas. So um, in the in future, I'll be making some more MA2 hippo videos, maybe some MA3 hippo videos, stuff like that. So uh, keep an eye out. Sorry if the audio was weird. I am in a hotel room. I'm going to try to do the best I can um, about making it sound nice. But thanks for rocking with me and checking the video out.